Yo, it has been too long. Dale, I'm glad to be back. I am, I picked up this new job and it is killing me. But I'm here and to go with that, I forgot my fucking laptop. So I'm going you're, old school. You're a mess right now. I am, I am. Almost as much as you though. Uh, Dale, how have you been, sir? It's this good to is, see you. I'm happy to be a, back in the studio. This has been a week from hell. I don't know how else to put it. How? What, what, what happened? The Euro League is bending me over, making me their bitch right now like i can't catch a break the, the soccer bets I can't i'm about 500 right now dude i don't get it so i'm okay I can't catch a break <laughs> my neighbor and i uh, who's a huge soccer guy he yeah keep going back and forth on the bets going through the games i can't catch a break can you disclose how much you're down no yeah <laughs> you, you want to do that i could mom and dad are listening right now they don't want they don't want to hear that i couldn't hit water if i fell off the <laughs> Like, I'm so cold in all aspects of my life. Like, I haven't hit a bet. I got ghosted this week. I mean, my car needs some fixing. Like, dude, it's just falling apart. So it's just a shit storm that it's, you're right in the middle. A tornado is running through my life right now. And for those of you that get the reference, not the tornado that I would want to be running <laughs> Only the real ones know. Uh, like I said, I'm 500 on the EuroLeague, and there's some other bets uh, we'll get into in just a sec. You said you got ghosted. Um, you had a really interesting story that you told me, I think a day or two ago, but I think it might've happened last weekend. Uh, is there a legal affair that's involved right now? Are you involved in some sort of erotic legal affair? No, I'm not involved in any erotic anything, but eh. I did fall in love this weekend. What happened? I was just at work and this gorgeous girl came in and I looked at Jared and I'm just like, yo, like... And she like walked by and ended up sitting in my section. Four and a half hours later, she was still in my section. Ended up going out. What was her What was her profession? What does she do? Attorney. <laughs> so as soon as I learned that, I'm like, so was she like a I cool, fell in love even more. Was she a cougar? What, she, what, what are we working with here? I mean, she was 33. Ooh, gorgeous, cool. I don't, I mean, I, one, I didn't think I, so did you pull a number? Did you go yeah, out? Got, did so you meet her the, friends? Like, yeah, I got it? the number. She was with her friends, went to thrusters of all places after work. Met it's a soup them. that thrusters for those of you that don't know, <laughs> picture the grimiest, <laughs> dive raunchiest Cleveland dive, people, dive bar. Literally dive bar. Yeah, dive I was going to say the raunchiest, yeah. grimiest dive bar. A lot of illegal and illicit activity, sexual activities too, <laughs> happen in this bar. It's yeah. like, it's like adult Disneyland. It's kind of amazing. It's, I mean, it's, I like thrusters. Uh, yeah, no, I got the number, shot her a text, nothing. Nothing yet. Nothing. So, okay. listen, the first time I took the shot, it was more of just like I stepped up to the line and shot a shot. Okay. I'm going to shoot another shot. You best believe it. But this time I'm going to, like, run a play. Okay. Run a play, get a set. Set, a, set a high screen, yep, maybe get a, a little screen. backdoor action. Literally. Something, but I don't know exactly what it's going to be yet. If you, it, girls, if you have any advice for me here, what I should do. Please let me know. Drop in the comments, please. Uh, please let us know. What can Dale do to finish off this erotic like, I need attorney dinner. episode? Please. Think about it. I just, those words, I need a dinner. <laughs> Have I ever I said guess, that to you? Uh, I think once or twice. Maybe. Uh, off, off camera, like once or twice. I'm openly admitting I need and want to go to dinner with this girl. Again, Dale has legal affairs and other aspects of life. Uh, speaking of some legal stuff that just passed, this is actually kind of enormous. Huge. So the NCAA passed the NIL initiative, uh, the name, image, and likeness, which essentially means college athletes are going to be paid. All the Manzels of the world, the Fab Fives of the world, Reggie Bush, Reggie. he should get his Heisman Give back. Give Reggie the Heisman back. You give USC all the fucking wins back. Dale, this is a big deal, man. This um, is. We, I mean, so this was passed within the last 24 to like 48 hours. I mean, this has been a huge, huge conversation for decades. I mean, think of like the careers that have been ruined because of improper benefits. When really, you know that these athletes were getting paid. They were getting compensated a lot under the table. Think of these one and done athletes. I mean, right. Dale, coming from someone who is a diehard uh for ohio state i mean they are one of the i would say top tier blue chip schools you know them the alabamas lsu clemson's of the world i guess if, if i'm going to ask you this um is the new narrative going to be in terms of recruiting are you going to basically sell a 17 18 16 year old sometimes kid in his living room with his mom saying hey i can make you the most money so that's interesting because we know, I don't necessarily, don't get me wrong, I don't know if there's going to be a difference in playing fields between those big schools. Personally. Yeah. I think where the difference is going to come in is going to be with the individual. Yeah. Um, not every kid at 18 years old is ready to make that step and mature yeah. enough and like, let's be honest, have the personality or have the ego to be able to handle that kind of stage. 
but or the wherewithal yeah, like like dude there's going to be so many people with handouts trying to get like give out handouts trying to get these kids to do stuff for them yeah these schools are going to have to do one hell of a job of keeping these kids focused I because think, they're I, I don't think it's going to work i don't i mean i trust me i want these guys to secure their bag i, I do think, too i, I do think too that this makes all the sense in the world but when it comes to like just the schools in general i don't know if there's going to be much of a swing yeah outside of i do think that West Coast schools, like I think USC is going to have a good chance of being back sooner than later. Um, UCLA, because of the way, market, just because of the market. Like, yeah. don't, and I even think schools like for basketball, like San Diego State, has a huge opportunity yeah. here to start landing these huge recruits, local kids too. Yeah, that end up going to the bigger schools. I think I, you nailed it. I mean, picture when we were eighteen and we were given a hundred bucks. Like, how fast can you spend a hundred dollars? I mean, on something stupid and trivial too. Like, are they going to get financial advisors? Is there like, are there going to be certain schools that are unionized? Are they compensated as college employees? Like the kid that works at Panda Express on campus. Is, is that the same, like, yeah. you know, uh, Graham Mertz, I think that's his name, the QB for Wisconsin already has his own logo. Dude, this is this is really, really interesting. It's and, huge. Um, and there's going to be, like anything when you start up something, there's going to be hiccups. Yep. Um, I'm excited for us to talk about in the future the first fuck up because this is this might get it's out of control. I think, I think so. It's going to happen. When, when and where is it going to happen is yeah. to be determined, but it will happen. I just hope the NC does the right thing. Goes back a few years, looks at guys, looks at loss of uh, wins for programs. Like yeah. Ohio State a couple years ago, we lost three or four years with Terrell Pryor because he got tattoos tattoo. and watches yeah, and a fucking tattoo. And they, and the NCAA stripped Ohio state of three years of wins. Like that's so stupid. Like let these guys get their, like their work ethic and what they did on the field is so, well, they earned it. They earned that. Right. Like, it's not like you can illegal, like they put in the work. They're just, yes. they're athletically gifted. You can't really take that away. It's not their fault that people want to give them benefits. Yeah, I think also, too, because I think we're just really focused on basketball and football. What about, like, the water polo teams? What about shooting? What about tennis? Like, what about, like, obviously, like, like, Sam Ellinger's of the world. I think he just got drafted. But, like, you know, the QB at Texas or Oklahoma versus the left guard. Like, right. you know what I'm saying? Like, how, th how do you compensate that? Right. And, and then like, does that create a, a riff? In the locker room, too. So the thing, too, that, like, we're noticing, like, you were mentioning, like, water polo, fencing, like, you know, these other, like, Yeah, like, baseball, sports. even. There is a market for Hockey. everything. So it's yeah. not just the football teams. It's not just the baseball. Yeah. It's not just basketball. It's female Everybody, athletics. Female athletics yes, as well. Female athletics are going to have a chance. Like, these female athletes, I saw Skylar Diggins tweet today. She was like, I would have secured the bag. Oh, yeah. When she was at Notre Dame. I don't oh, know. Oh, yeah. I, I, I Brittany Griner. Yes. Like, think about Skylar Diggins at her peak making Final Fours. She's gorgeous. She had a great personality, elite at basketball. She literally probably would have made more money at Notre Dame than in her entire professional career this far. It would have set her up, yeah. yeah. I, you know, I don't know. And then for these kids that are so good, like, I mean, what if there is another Manziel that wins the Heisman as a freshman? Like, how does that affect... You're, I guess, thinking, I, dude, this is a big, big deal. It is huge. Um, definitely something we're going to keep an eye on. Uh, something that I don't know if I spoke into existence, but I told you early in the playoffs that I wanted it to happen. Seven, four, Actually, six, Suns six, making six, the finals. Six. Chris Paul, CP3 making his first finals in 16 years in the league, and I could not be happier for him. Out of all years to do it, this is the year that makes the most sense. Will, you have a little move coming soon, and it just happens to be in the state of Arizona. In the state of Arizona. How does it make you feel being a zony now? That <laughs> I'm not. I'm not a zony yet. Don't you're going. I mean, I what a separate episode for my. We have some. <laughs> we have some big news coming. Uh, no, Dale. You. It, I, I think this is great. Look, and if you look at the past, if you look at the career arc of CP3. He comes in, he gets drafted by New Orleans, right? And then a year in, they have Hurricane Katrina. He has to go play in Oklahoma City, and then he goes to L.A., has the, has the Lob City era with Blake Griffin, DeAndre Jordan, had his interesting sabbatical with the Houston Rockets, didn't work with, um, with James Harden. Yep. Then last year, you know, before the pandemic, he was with Oklahoma City, and, you know, I thought Scott Van Pelt last night did a really good job of it's like, you know, there was a narrative written about CP3 saying, you know what, this is it. Like, we've seen this with, like, stars that have been in the league for, you know, over a decade. And then he he, does, he says he has that message that he writes on his shoes. And it's like, because I didn't think he was going to play for Oklahoma City. And then he goes to Phoenix. It just seems like the perfect storm for him. I, I'm pretty stoked. You know, I'm for so him, sad. like, what is he? The president of the Players Association. Yep. He's uh, he's on every State Farm commercial. I think we've seen that ad nauseum yeah. Um, yeah. at this point. But just in terms of what he's been able to create for that team. I'm a big Monty Williams fan. 
Um, Devin Booker was really overlooked. For, I mean, you know what's crazy? He's been in the league for like six years already, and the kid's only like 24. D Book has? Yeah, dude, he got drafted in 2015. That exactly right. Like you think of him as like this 30 year old vet. Like dude's 24. He can't even rent a car yet. My like, mind instantly went to Wow, we're getting fucking old. Not he's old. <laughs> I, I, will, I will die before I get old. No, but you know, and he said it last night. He said there was a big reason why he bought into the Suns ownership. He bought into um, the front office. He bought into Monty Williams, and he he concluded it by saying, look, number one, D- I bought in because of him. Because he he was a star on the rise. He was just on so many shitty... Like how, many, how many times did the Suns have the highest pick in the draft, or one of them, they would win 19 games or 24? Like, I'm surprised there wasn't a trust the process in Phoenix yeah. you know, for years. The so, only reason there wasn't is because Devin Booker has been so good for so long. Yeah. Like, he keeps them out of like... He no. gives them some sort of relevance. Yeah, dude. absolutely. Even when they're bad, you still want to watch because he's going to put up a 60s spot. Yeah. He put up, what, 70? Like, a couple years ago? Yeah, you're like or something like that. I mean, that was like an innocuous game during the yeah. year, and you're like, wow, he just put up 70 points. Like, you're like rewatching the highlights. No, but with CP3, I think that this is awesome. He deserves it. Um... Look, there's certain media members. It seems to be not much gray area. I've heard media members say they don't really like him because he's kind of an asshole. He was an asshole in the beginning of his career, which is subjective to a lot of opinions. But on the other side of the fence, they're really proud and they're stoked because he actually has done a lot for, you know, the NBA and off like with his charitable contributions. Um, I'm stoked for him. And I'm really, whether it's the Hawks and Bucks, who basically fucked both of us in the ass with Giannis getting hurt. um, I guess I'm happy for Trey Young. But I really feel that the Clippers Sun Series was the finals because whoever comes out, I mean, they, Giannis isn't playing anymore. You saw his wicked knee. It, it, it looked like the kneecap on Mr. Deeds when the old yeah. man's at the bar. Just, that's that's Didn't what it look looked good. like. Did not look good. Uh, do we have a word yet? Is, is Trey Young going to play in game? It's 2 2, right? Is yeah, it, he's, it's questionable. Okay. He has a, like a bone bruise, which I'm sure fucking hurts. Yeah, like, no, it doesn't feel I'm good. I'm not but. disclosing that at all. Uh, but no, CP3, I'm stoked. I mean, I'm sure you are too. Um, it's a great story, and you know, to come after a pandemic, the team didn't even they went eight zero in the bubble, didn't make the playoffs last year. It's nuts. But you saw something that was brewing really special. I'm stoked for it, man. I'm stoked for the city of Phoenix. The they Suns and four guy is just fucking profiting off the out the ass. All the Suns needed after an eight zero bubble was point God to come lead them to the promised land. We had a funny conversation because you said point God. I thought of pipe God at one point. So we're talking about your boy J.R. Smith. Oh. I'm surprised you gotta you gotta bust out his, his uh, don't you have like a T-shirt of him with his with his. I, I yeah. used to have the tattoo oh. T-shirt. I think it's still at my parents' house in Ohio. I just think like now that the world's open and we can celebrate, you know, without any regard or looking over a shoulder or feeling ashamed. I wish there was a part of me that had J.R. Smith on this team at the Suns. I just want J.R. Smith on every championship winning team. Pipe God, we miss you in the league. What else is there to say? Please, his fucking <laughs> shirt is always off. The champagne. He has the open goggles. Ten day. Yeah, I know the last spot on the roster. I promise you, he is what Phoenix he's third needs team off the, the plate. He's third team the off the bench. Oh my god, I love I it. I love it, guys. That is all we have for you today. Like I said, girls, I might need some help here. I definitely need some help from the gambling gods because I'm getting my ass adversity kicked. betting. Will and I hopefully will be back at some point this week. Like Will said earlier, he has been getting his ass kicked at work recently, so I haven't seen him in the morning a lot. I'm happy to be back. I know. I'm happy so to see good you. To be back. Um, See you guys soon. Give us follows at WOTM Daily, Twitter, TikTok, Apple, Spotify, at Will Galvez, at Arendelle underscore, at JP25 Media. Hey.